Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so today we're getting into a new episode of The Last Kingdom. This is season four, episode two. I'm really excited. Um, it's been, I believe it's been, how long has it been? Has it been a couple months since we did the last episode? I'm pretty sure, right? Um, but yeah, guys, I'm definitely going to need that recap. Um, all I know is, all I remember is Uhtred getting his, his oldest son, I believe, or just his son back there. Uh, he's, he's with them against his will. <laughs> Poor kid. Um, but yeah, he's a part of their group. He doesn't want to be, um... And I'm, I'm sorry, my voice sounds like a little bit froggy. I'm still getting over the flu. I had the flu for a bit. Um, but uh, that's, that's honestly, and obviously poor, poor um, <sighs> Bianca. He can't, he can't catch a break. His poor wife. Um, and Uhtred's, I can't think of her name, of course, but Uhtred's sister, uh, she burned to death in a fire, in a house fire. She got caught underneath the floorboards, and <sighs> it was so sad. Her death was so sad. Uh, Bianca, he's obviously not doing well after her death. I mean, how would it be either? Um... I mean, I'll remember more once we get the episode going, so let me stop yapping and let's just get right into this episode, y'all. Uh, full Uncut Virgin is on my Patreon, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Let's get it. Let's watch and see what makes people like one person and not another. Serious situation. He just <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> she didn't switch over. Y'all are not gonna let this man beat you with the fanny pack. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why right there? Ruin his pagan lies. I pity you for believing it. And then give him something to do. Hey, you can empty this. <laughs> okay. That's messed up. <laughs> Am I the bait? For what? In the plan you are hiding from me. Nothing is hidden from you. We are tracking monks who have entry to Bebenburg. I think you have another reason for dragging me into your revenge. Yes? So you may win honor and reputation. The only reputation that matters is my standing with God. You cannot force a boy to be a warrior. The blood is that of stubborn bastards. He continues to sign himself King of Mercia, and now we hear he leads troops out of Aylesburg. Ethelred has always been ambitious. Do you know where he's gone? My husband doesn't inform me of anything. If he's seeking St. Oswald, he's seeking to break from Wessex. The people want peace, not war. Still, it is a signal of intention. Or a ploy to pander to the simple folk of Mercia. The people of Mercia are not simple. <laughs> Here he is. The future king of all the realm. <laughs> See how nimble he is. That's a great swordsman in the making. And he's a child of great authority, too. <laughs> I want to show you a book of your grandfather's. Do not pester the boy with Latin. He used to be a king, or mm. clerk. The men of Wessex are fighters. The slaver can get us trained men, but he wants 10,000. 10,000 would empty the treasury. What good is a fortress without silver? Lord, we must sell the heart of St. Oswald. Hmm. He's desperate for it, you say? Ethelred? This is what I have heard. The monks he dispatched will arrive here soon. Well, then we shall bleed silver from him. By the men. It's not the bloodthirsty heathen you take him for. Thou shalt not kill, Father Bayoka. Or you rusty on the scripture. 
I know the teaching. Sometimes one must do wrong to do right. Eilfrid tried to kill a child for no gain but wooden walls. And for that, he wrenched a boy from his Christian life, delivered him to the heathens, and damned his soul to all eternity. It was avenging a great wrong done to him. Helping... Helping him return to a life of Christian piety. No. Not that, but... But there is a chance. We shall see. <laughs> Grinsby seems like a lovely place. I hear the oysters are delicious. Mm. Cedric, don't make eye contact. Which way does... We're taking belts to Frank here. You keep trouble out my house, agreed? Hey, we're just hungry for some food. Nothing more. And do you have women? Oh, she's yours until nightfall. If you're quick, you couldn't both get to tell. I'm a virgin in that. Lord, I'm sure you are. We found our monks. It takes six days to get to Bevan down the coast road. We'll get there just before ascension. I'm a good Christian boy, Lord. <laughs> We wait here and enjoy the atmosphere. Richard, you see these two monks? They're the ones we've been searching for. They're leaving for Bevan Bar. Follow them. It's our strongest chance of getting into the fortress. They would be recognized. So I am the sacrificial man. No, you're our greatest hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Why do you have this faith in me? Because I know that the spirit of our family is within you. Try and do as you need, but I will not kill a man. Three pieces of silver says it runs home. <laughs> I would not send you to be slaughtered. When I see you signal, I will approach the sea gate. It will be looked after. Uh, halfway through, I'm going to have to stop it and then start it um, another time. You have a life. You are right. I see that now. I should make myself a widower. Or is that not what you want? Along with all these silks and furs. He's tried to kill her before and it didn't work out. Have I misjudged your Christian soul? He's not losing interest. He says he's threatening to Lady Etherford, killed so that he may marry me. That is good news! <laughs> It seems like no, he is volatile, and we must be careful. Promise me, if he asks you to attack Lady Ethelfled, you will refuse. I will never defy the wishes of King Ethelred, and nor should you. We camp here tonight! March at dawn! You are certain we cannot tempt you to battle? I have no interest in fighting only women in silver. Because you have to pay women to hump him? Is that it? <laughs> Edward is honor bound to defend the land of his sister and mother. Ethelred's death will force swift retaliation. We will ride into mercy in a fury, and we'll force them to a battle place where we have dead advantage. Then you will have united the Saxons. Alfred would be very proud. Go with our friend Hessen. We will take you north until our campaign is over. Should they not witness the battle? I know it's dangerous, but... There will be battles to come. Today, they're too young. If you ever grow bored of the ugly bastard... I'm sorry. You are more ugly. That is of no use to me. <laughs> no? <laughs> because you... carry his pop. Ah, I can tell by the tits. Dude. The world needs more little knuts. Rita! Hmm? Come. <laughs> Damn. He's scared of her. I mean, I, I get it. Damn, she's pregnant. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Could they be mercenaries? Come to help defend us? Perhaps they would turn away. Well, they are Scots, returning for a fight. Send men out to speak with them. If they return with heads on their shoulders, we know that the Scots might negotiate. I shall go myself. I am sick of sending men to slaughter. Which is why you will never lead, Aiden. Hello, Lord Alfred. We heard you were 
drowned. We were assured. They said there was no hope. I nearly did drown, Father. Well. I believed it was my punishment for sending <coughs> you away. I assure you, your descendants will thrive. When I got word you were under attack, I seized the moment. I've brought warriors, men I've collected from every corner of the known world. Strong men, loyal men. Ebenbo is saved. Is it? As magnificent as ever it was. Indeed. If it is real and not a dream. Drop the sail! How long do we wait for your son to send us on? Until it comes. Is this some plan to become a saint? It is preparation for the royal consecration. Becoming queen is now a holy right. The insult of it all. He obsesses over the etheling and pushes me aside. Had I known what sort of man he was, I would have selected a different bride for your brother. It would cherish his peace, both within Wessex and within the palace. So I must accept when I am no longer wanted. Hmm. She feels my father's loss. As do we all. The girl who married your son in secret. What do you know of her present situation? She took holy orders when her marriage was forcibly annulled. She's very unhappy. Hmm. Her daughter she sees occasionally, but her son, she's not looked on since he was taken from her arms. That seems a cruel punishment. The crime of loving Edward and Edward loving her. Yes. You and Bayaka are right to question my mistreatment of her. I would like to make amends in a small way. Where is her son now? He lives in a monastery. So he has the love of God, but not that of a mother. Mm. An agony I would not want for my own son. I would like to see them both. I can have it arranged. That's good that she wants to apologize. Make up for it. Alright guys, I gotta unfortunately stop it now. We have to go somewhere real quick. Um, I will see you guys very soon. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> Alright, see ya. Hey guys, we're back with more The Last Kingdom. We're just gonna pick up right where we left off. Make sure the grain stores are emptied and no food remains. Shut this palace before the other Saxons retaliate. Have you found Ethelred? Not yet. I'm just enjoying his bed. Would you like to join me? Hmm. Wow. Alright. Just getting right to it. You are Ethelstan, are you not? Yes. Who are your family? I've been told not to answer that. That is probably wise. I am an abbess, lady. No, I am a friend. <clears throat> Go to the garden. Travelers! This road is full of murderous thieves. Be careful, my brothers in Christ. You're like a beggar. No, I am a deacon, cruelly kidnapped from his church. I know about your sins in Grinsburg. <laughs> Don't let me speak of it to your abbot. <coughs> what do you want? Nothing but traveling companions. <laughs> Do I know you, madam? Content yourself with knowing that I am a mother who feels for your plight. And I thank you. What is done is done. But yes, it would be foolish for him to be raised without a woman's nurture when he is permanently moved to somewhere more secure. Why must he be moved? There is concern that he could be in danger in Wessex, but I'm afraid he will not be able to visit again. Why am I being punished? Did I deserve this cruelty? All I wanted was a husband and a family. To be with the one I loved in a quiet place to call home. Then you would have been unsuited to life in the palace at Winchester. And where has that little turd hidden himself? He's in East Anglia. He has attacked farms there and many Danish settlers were killed. There is no way that fool outwitted us. It sickens me to say he has. He thought we were in Ireland, that there would be no reprisals. We have let this happen, Knut. Then we must prevail now. I knew it. 
I said this. I said Canute was trying to trick us. What if Lord Ethel had? Is he dead? I will try to find out. Call off the coronation. Send men to Aylesbury to retake it. No, no. no. Enough! I will decide how to respond to this affront and when. Not you, nor you, nor you will set the terms. Tell me, Bailka. Is it the right time? I'm not leading men to defeat. You are not leading men to defeat. Fight will be furious, men will fall. But I would not encourage you if I thought you would lose. This is the air that you and I were born to breathe. <laughs> I'm not to see if my blood runs thick. Bevenberg. The Lord who resides here is volatile. So be on your guard. What if he does not welcome us? Then we will not be welcomed home. And we will be forced to sail to Frisia to sell your backside in return for food. Ethelred's errand boys. Let's see how desperate they are for my holy treasures. <laughs> I am Brother Yestin. We are sent by Ethelred of Mercia to make a trade. Um, you can turn back. I've decided I cannot bear to part with so dear a treasure. I put no price on holy relics. Then might we at least rest the night here, Lord? The road has been long. Perhaps we could discuss the trade. We are not a lodging house. Your master has sent you on a pointless errand. I am but a young man. But since my childhood, I've heard that Bevanbar was the greatest fortress in the north, and that its true lord was a man of honor and great reputation. Well, who does not take to a little flattery? Please, Lord, do not deny my boyhood dream. Well, I am generous and uh, a loyal servant to the church, so um, you are welcome. <laughs> nice. He's persuasive, just like Uhtred. Stop looking impressed. You will push up the price. Is he giving me a signal? Yours. Nothing. Alright. <clears throat> Here we go. Did you see that? Is he doing it again? Yeah. It's the signal. Move your arses! Halt! <laughs> Ooh. Do not move. Shit. Are you there? It's too heavy. This is a mistake. I was lost. You were trying to steal away. I was not. Why? Huh? Why? Ooh, nice. Gonna get under it, Lord. Keep going. Hurry. Oh shit! 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 Ooh. Must I kill another before I get the truth? Let the holy man go free. He means you no harm. Those poor men. This one schemes against us, father. He's a spy. We move on. Hmm? You can tell me. 
Have the Scots allied with Ethelred? <laughs> no recognition in his eyes. His face is familiar somehow. Who are you? I am Uhtred of Babenbar. It is unwise to mock me. God, silence! <laughs> I'm taking it back. I have no fight with you. Only this man is doomed. Are you happy to see me, Uncle? Huh? I've waited a lifetime to avenge myself. No one else will suffer if you swear loyalty. None of you are my enemies. And this cruel shit who has hated you and mistreated you will die. Aiden, you remember me? Where's your allegiance? I am loyal to the true heir of Bedenburg. Good. Bear witness all, the true heir of Bedenburg. Who are you, boy? Whitgar, son of Elfred. And I could kill you with this arrow in a heartbeat. You can try. The arrow would miss. Then you know nothing of the weapons of the desert. You have lost everything. Osbert. I won't tell you again. Put down the bow. A son does not always love a father. Hmm. Learn from that fool. Now who's with me? Who's with me? I'm not gonna lie, part of me was actually surprised that, well, I mean, he is Uhtred's son, so part of me isn't surprised because he's Uhtred's son, so, so it's like, you know, Uhtred's blood, of course, he's, he's basically, he's a lot like Uhtred, but at the same time, I'm, I'm just kind of surprised that he actually pulled it off. I'm surprised that he got in there and gave out the signal. I mean, he was he was caught at the end, but he he made it. He made it through. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, guys. Um, and I <clears throat> and I am not surprised that the son ended up killing him. Killing Uhtred's uncle. Um, I knew he was going to shoot, but I wasn't sure if... I thought he was going to try to shoot Uhtred and he was going to like... You know, I thought it was going to like go into his arm or something like that. And, you know, Uhtred would have been fine. But... At first, I was a little shocked that he shot his dad. But then when I thought about it, I was like, you know what, I'm not a little shocked, to be honest, about that. I mean, he's definitely not a great guy. <laughs> he's someone that I feel like you enjoy, you enjoy hating him, you know? And of course, I'm not surprised that his son doesn't like him, especially since, you know, he came back after so long, apparently. Um, so, I'm I'm not surprised that the sun is like taking over. I knew they weren't gonna follow Uhtred so quickly like that. I knew it wasn't gonna be so easy because that would have been so easy. Um, but yeah, guys, I I can't wait to see what happens next very soon. Trust me, it'll be tonight. I it's only right now it's only five so. I'm going to take a little break and then I will film another episode and I can't wait to see what happens. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, full uncut version is on my Patreon and I will see you guys again tonight. 
So yeah, I can't wait. Uh, thanks. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and, and I'll see you guys next episode.